Back in the SEC Championship on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper, Georgia, the sixth-ranked team in the country, trying to win the SEC title near their hometown of Athens. Right now, they've got the lead at halftime, 10-7. to 7. The two quarterbacks have only had three incompletions in the first half. Nice, clean half by the quarterbacks. And more halftime activities to my partner, Ali LaForce. All right, guys, it's time now for the Dr. Pepper tuition giveaway. Let's get excited, everybody. Let's hear some noise for our contestants. The rules are pretty simple. The two contestants that I'm standing with right now have a chance to win $100,000 in tuition thanks to Dr. Pepper. It's going to be exciting. All they have to do is throw the footballs into the giant Dr. Pepper cans. Whoever makes the most will win $100,000. And what's really outstanding about this competition is the runner-up is also taking home $25,000 in tuition. I'm joined by our two contestants now who are so excited to compete. We have Jose Ruiz from Houston, Texas. Let's give it up for Jose, everybody. And we have Leona Gaither from King George, Virginia. Now, Jose is hoping to win tuition to pay for free medical school. Have you gotten any sleep last night waiting for this moment? Not really, no. I've just been staying up a lot, really, from all the excitement and, you know, being nervous. We wish you the best of luck. Leona, how about you? Um, I did not hear your question. Well, there you go. You and Nick Saban have something in common. Were you nervous? Did you get any sleep last night? How, I'm thinking about this big moment, this great experience. Um, I'm just happy to be here, so there's no point in being nervous. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Like I said, the rules are simple. You guys go ahead and get in position. When you hear the whistle from the official, that means you can begin, and you have 30 seconds to get as many footballs into the big Dr. Pepper cans. All right, everybody, let's make some noise for the contestants. Contact has been made, and we're ready to go. All right, Leona with the first one. And Leona is on fire. She takes a three to one lead. Come on, Jose. Five to one, Leona. This girl is on fire. It's eight to four, everybody. Can Jose make a comeback? Congratulations, Yona. We have a, a lot of emotion down here on the sideline. We're joined now by Jim Johnson, president of Dr. Pepper, to hand over to Leona the $100,000 in tuition. Jim? Leona, congratulations. On behalf of Dr. Pepper and all of our Dr. Pepper bottlers, I'm pleased to present you with this check for $100,000 to go towards your tuition. Congratulations. Leona, what do you want to, what do you want to say to your family? Um, I love my mom, I love my dad, and I can't thank Dr. Pepper enough. Congratulations again, everybody. Let's give it up for Leona one more time in this incredible accomplishment. And just remember, the runner-up, Jose, will also be taking home $25,000 in tuition. It's been fun. Enjoy it. Congratulations. Leona's just been offered a scholarship to the University of Virginia to be a starting quarterback for them a year ago next year. <laughs> Stay tuned. Adam Zucker, Rick Nohasel, Brian Jones, along with the Geico Halftime Report, right after this message and a word from your local station. Good job, Leona. Sports presents the Geico Halftime Report. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It is number six, Georgia, on top of Auburn at the half. 10-7 in the SEC Championship on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Geico Halftime Report. I'm Adam Zucker alongside my buddies Rick Neuheisel and Brian Jones. We're looking, we're right on the line between the Georgia <laughs> fans and the Auburn fans. The Georgia fans did not have a good look on their face the way Jared Stidham started. And then when Jake Fromm got hot, well, then everyone over here was frowning. If you like quarterback play, you like this game. There's only been three incompletions thus far. Jake Fromm, this freshman quarterback for Georgia, is dealing a hot hand right now. Jim Chaney has changed the, the uh, way of attacking this Auburn defense. You can see what he's doing here. This is a sail route on third down to meet Kill Hardeman. Great play. Watch him deal on an RPO right here. Take it out of the head belly of the running back and find Hartman again down the field. Great play call here by Chaney. He finds Isaac not in the back of the end zone. Great touchdown drive. 
Yeah, I love that play there, the touchdown to Nada, because they faked the tall sweep, a play they opened the ball game up with and had about a 15, 18-yard gain on that one, and then they fake it and they hit Nada over the middle, wide open. Wide open, and look, Georgia, they would have had two turnovers in this game from Auburn, except yeah. the penalty took one of them away. A couple of costly penalties for the Dolphins. How, you, you're correct. Not only do they get a touchdown taken away, here you have the pick play, and Rick, as you said, if you just throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage, that's not called. It's considered legal, and here you have a huge interception as Auburn is trying to get the momentum back on their side. Defensive face mask on this call in this ball game up to this point. Four penalties for 46 yards on the Bulldogs. Now, they did get the turnover after the strip sack on yeah. Jarrett Stidham. That really seemed to turn things Georgia's way about midway through this first half, but Stidham started so hot as well. Stidham is on fire as well, 10 for 12 in the first half, and again, they are finding ways to use all of his attributes. Here he finds a way to extend the play, just beautiful, throwing it over the top of the defense, getting that big chunky yardage, dealing off the bottom of the deck right here, using the fly sweep to get his receiver open, watching make his legs work here, getting the first down, and then this is my favorite, this is improvised, they take away the quick screen, he throws it over the top and yep. finds another big play. Well, Outstanding play by Stidham thus far. I think he may have to utilize those legs a little bit more because they've been able to get to him here of late as the Georgia Bulldogs. Those heel hounds are real dogs in this one. And they were able to get to carry on Johnson as well. He played less and less as yes. the half rolled on. By the way, uh, Leona Gaither also had a great oh, rolling yeah. session. I coached her a few up yesterday, ago. man. There you go. The track is hot. <laughs> <laughs> when the Geico Halftime Report continues, we'll get you caught up on all the other championship action here on this amazing Saturday of college football. SEC Championship on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper, is sponsored by The Home Depot, GEICO, Sonic, and by Dr. Pepper. seven midway through as we welcome you back to the Geico Halftime Report. A reminder over on CBS Sports Network a full slate of college basketball action it's Providence, Rhode Island right now followed by Arkansas and Houston and later tonight UNLV hosting Arizona. Back to the conference championship games. Big 12, Oklahoma winning you're in. TCU looking to create some havoc but first play from scrimmage BJ not good. Yeah you don't want to start the ball game off like this Kyle Higgs lays it on the ground Caleb Kelly scoops and scores and then that man went to work that man baker mayfield last five ball games three plus touchdown passes well you can make it his last six now because he had four on the day here he's gonna find marquise hollywood brown 52 yard score and a 55 yarder earlier and i think we're gonna be seeing baker mayfield in the studio next week when the heisman finalists come and visit us in new york oklahoma winning its 11th big 12 title in the 22 year history of the conference Mayfield's 19th career game with three touchdowns and no interceptions. Now, Oklahoma, you just got to think, they're in now. Oh. You got the Big Ten later, the ACC later, and of course you know what's going on with number two and number six, and Alabama's watching it all, Rick. Tension in Tuscaloosa, that's the adage right now. They're hoping Ohio State dots the eye tonight against Wisconsin, and then let the committee make the decision tomorrow in Dallas. Yeah, their hopes were really depending on, uh, or, or, or sit, hanging on TCU, because the TCU had gotten an upset in that ball game. Alabama would have definitely been in the party for the college football playoff. Indeed. So much of this is about Alabama, even though they're actually not here. Uh, another game that was just back and forth craziness was in Orlando, the two highest scoring teams in the country, and it showed in the American Championship, Mackenzie Milton to Dredrick Snelson, but Memphis would rally from two double-digit deficits, Rick. If you like offense, you like this one. Rodney Ferguson finds Anthony Miller with a 10-yard touchdown here to not the score. Now we're in the second overtime. Oh, to Sanderson plows in Whoa. for a yard to give a 62-55 lead to the Knights. And here Ferguson gets picked off. Mm. Trey Neal makes the pick and saves the perfect season. And Scott Frost 
hoist the trophy. The team is likely now headed to the Peach Bowl. They're undefeated, but rumors abound about Scott Frost going back to his alma mater to take the head coaching job at Nebraska. It is now official. He is going back. But before his players found out, before he could even talk to the team, this was the exchange on the post-game podium. Have you coached your final game here at UCF? I'm going to talk to the team first. Uh, you know, the, the hard thing about all this is they should give you time after the season to make decisions, and uh, they don't. You know, they, these these things happen at the wrong time. And the one thing I wasn't going to do is sacrifice my commitment to this team. But he is leaving now, and he did it the best way he could. Tran transition that with a Florida State team that saw Jimbo Fisher now leave to go to the SEC and take over at Texas A&M. They played this game rescheduled because of Hurricane Irma. They defeat Louisiana Monroe. They are bowl eligible for the 36th straight year. Now it's Odell Hagens, a longtime staff member, who is taking over the reins of this team. All right, next Saturday, for the first time in 21 years, Army looks to capture the Commander-in-Chief trophy if they can once again beat Navy. The 118th Army-Navy game presented by USAA. Our coverage begins with State Farm College football today at 2.30 Eastern on CBS. The Heisman finalists with us at halftime. All right, we saw Georgia answer the call here in the second quarter. What do we see come second half? To me, this all comes down to the play callers staying out of long-yarded situations, yeah. Brian. I think they have to be really careful on first down trying to get big chunks. We saw some sacks early in the game on that regard if they can keep this thing in the second and medium they're going to be fine because both quarterbacks are hot but so too are the pass rushes yeah Auburn they definitely need to protect Stidham and they have to put some pressure on from and as far as Georgia keep that running game churning they've got a nice balance going now between the running game and the pass game indeed and we got to see how some of these injured players from Auburn bounce back here during the halftime break we thank you for watching the Geico halftime report coming up the second half of Georgia and Auburn from right here behind us in Atlanta. <laughs> CBS Sports presents the GEICO Halftime Report. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.